Welcome to Overbike Brand Engineering, a YouTube channel where we look at the skills, equipment, and strategies necessary to succeed at long distance cycling events like brevets. Uh, two elements that are critical to this success, both during events and in training, is that we need to monitor our nutrition and our hydration. Neglecting either of these elements can derail a ride completely, but it can also lead to knock-on or domino effects for other risk factors like body thermoregulation and motivation. So we need to nail these two elements of our ride. And to do that, there is a new app out called Saturday, Pro Fueling and Hydration. Today, we're gonna to look at that app and see how it facilitates our success and if it's actually worthwhile. Before we talk about the app though, there are a few foundational ideas to cover first. Uh, the most important being that nutrition and the availability of energy are a bottleneck to our performance. Uh, basically, our work effort over time is limited by how much energy our body can process. This energy comes primarily from carbohydrate and from fat. Both carbohydrate and fat are stored in our blood and in our muscles and are available for use during exercise. Uh, the rest of that energy that we use for an event or for training comes from sources that we eat. So um, one of the foundational ideas behind the app and one of the research focuses of Dr. Alex Harrison, one of the founders of the app, is the interest to stuff as many carbohydrates into our body and get as many of those carbs into our bloodstream for use as possible. By fueling to maximum capacity, it should allow us to have stronger efforts for a longer time during training and thus seeing more benefits from that training and also allow us a more complete recovery after the training is done. During events themselves, we should also be able to perform at a higher level if we have more fuel available and carbohydrates are the easiest available fuel. There are different uh, sort of mindsets or beliefs about this, but uh, the majority of the research evidence that I've read weighs on the side of using carbohydrates, especially simple carbohydrates, as the best form of fuel for endurance activities. So with those assumptions out of the way, we can better understand how the Saturday app was developed and how it gives us information on proper fueling, proper hydration, and proper electrolyte consumption. To use the app, we first just download it and give some basic personal information about ourselves and our relationship to our sports activities. Uh, how serious are we with the activities? What is the composition of our sweat typically? Is it a, a clean sweat? Is it a very salty, heavily saturated sweat? With our general information, we can then start a new activity where the app will tailor our hydration, nutrition, and electrolyte needs. We start by choosing the activity type, selecting how long the activity will go, estimating what the general intensity of the activity is, and also estimating how much we will likely be sweating. The app also takes into account your local weather forecast to make recommendations for water, electrolyte, and carbohydrate needs. The app also gives the option to choose if you fasted before training, and it makes small accommodations if that is true, and gives you the recommendation to start consuming your carb mix as soon as possible. There's also a function to give a smiley face showing how the ride went, and also take personal notes that might be useful in the future. The app then gives you a recipe for a carb mix to use during your training or during your event. This includes a specific amount of water, a specific amount of carbohydrates, usually in the form of plain table sugar, and two different choices for electrolyte. Could either be table salt or sodium citrate, uh, the two types of electrolyte recommended by Dr. Alex Harrison over at the Saturday YouTube channel. Many athletes, though, prefer to use prepackaged performance products as part of their training or part of their event. The Saturday app includes a long list of many of the most popular performance products that will supplement the Speed Nectar recipe. For me, I don't use prepackaged products, but I do like to eat regular food. So I've added custom products, which the app allows for. I've added things like bananas, a bag of Haribo, and my favorite little cereal bar. After accounting for these supplementary products, a final Speed Nectar recipe is given that should, in theory, uh, completely fuel you for your training or for your event. Let's see how it works. I'm out here today doing a training ride. Uh, it's got a bunch of repeated short, steep hill climbs. I'm doing this to try to test my fitness a little bit, but I'm also following the Saturday's fueling recommendations to a T, which is a bit different from my normal style. And more than halfway through the ride, I can say the recommendations were spot on. I can definitely feel that my struggles on these climbs are much more due to my fitness, due to my cardio, rather than fueling. I'm able to hit my target power, and I just feel 
my muscles burning, and but I'm able to keep pushing uh, as far as my muscles will take me. And gotta give credit to the Saturday app. I think the proper fueling allows that to happen, where otherwise I'd be feeling different kinds of fatigue right now. Recommendations for today were about 2.1 liters of water, 120 grams of carbs, and eight grams of sodium citrate. I have all the carbs and sodium loaded into these two large water bottles here. And the rest of the water I have on my trusty area hydration system up front. Uh, make sure to subscribe, there's a review for this coming soon. Does it actually provide a democratized superbike for everyone? Uh, we'll find out. That's just one sample of where I've been using the Saturday app for a training ride. But I've been using the app for over a month and a half now, so I've reached some good conclusions about the app's usefulness. Uh, first, for training specifically, the app has been invaluable. My consumption of water, carbohydrate, and electrolyte has increased by about 25 to 30% compared to what I was doing on my own. I feel better fueled, I feel less fatigue during the rides, especially towards the end, and I definitely feel improved recovery afterwards. But it's not all perfect. Uh, there are a few things that I wish the Saturday app included, and it also has some shortcomings for extra long events. First, it's 2023 now, and indoor cycling is a big part of most people's exercise regimens. The weather's not always perfect. And because the Saturday app uses local weather forecasts to make accommodations for how much water to drink and perhaps um, how much electrolyte to consume, it will not give accurate recommendations for indoor cycling. And so I think if they added a function that sort of neutralizes the weather component, it would give a more accurate representation of what's needed when doing Zwift. Uh, the second issue with the Saturday app relates mostly to the focus of this channel, uh, doing ultra-long events. For a brevet that's going to last at least 10 hours in most cases, often more than a day, uh, we can't just be drinking sugar water the entire time. It's more likely that carb mix is just going to be supplementary to eating a fairly large amount of regular food. And because of that, it makes it almost impossible to plan your nutrition plan by using the app. But the app does overcome this in a few ways. Uh, first, it doesn't just give a total recommendation for the requirements of an event. It also gives an hourly recommendation, which can be much more useful if you can determine what your likely average needs are for water, for carbohydrate, and for electrolyte. And you can use that to adjust your fueling plan on the go. My last little niggle with the app is just that it's an app. I don't really enjoy opening up my phone to make a nutrition plan before every ride, but there's also not much way around it. Uh, my needs will change depending on the weather, depending on the intensity. Uh, luckily, it's really quick and easy and intuitive to use, so it's not a huge inconvenience. And I think the advantages outweigh my personal preferences for just sort of winging it all the time. Overall, I highly rate the Saturday app. It significantly improved my on-the-bike nutrition and on-the-bike hydration during training, and has also given some excellent insights into how to better plan supplementary drink mix for long rides like brevets. If you've seen my video, Sugar is Your Friend, uh, there you'll find a recipe that I used to use uh, to carry dry mix in a bottle for ultra long distance events. That recipe is significantly changed based on the insights I've gathered by using the Saturday app and continuing my research into this topic. So make sure you subscribe and I'll be posting that recipe within the next week or so. In the meantime though, I do recommend downloading the Saturday app and it should probably improve your fueling and your hydration too. Thanks for watching everyone. See you in the next video and ride safe.